Hello and welcome to this session where we're going to discuss CA's continuous testing story. Uh, this is a series of three videos and the first one we're going to cover is requirements and modeling. So as part of the modern software factory, uh, the, the goal is to take those concepts and ideas and then translate those into a, a product you can deliver to your customers that add value to your customers. And what we're going to show you is how using the CA toolset we can deliver that. So if we look at this diagram, you can see where on the top left hand corner we take those ideas into CA Project Portfolio Manager. That's where we do our financial planning. Uh, they're fed into Agile Central and then that drives our continuous, continuous delivery pipeline. And that's what we're going to show you as part of this demonstration. So we're going to break this down into component parts. And what we've got is this is the whole continuous delivery pipeline. And for this video, we're going to focus on this section here. So we're going to look at that creation of the, the projects, then the uh, how that's linked to Agile Central to manage user stories and to define your requirements and how we can then model those requirements. So let's start with PPM. So we're just going to change screens. And this is PPM. And we're going to log in as a user. Now when I log in, uh, I get my dashboard view, and this is a very high level view. This is looking at the top, looking at business units and how costs are broken down across the organization. And we're going to switch to a view that's going to show us uh, a breakdown of our actual application we're working on. So if we drill into here, this is our summary view of the, the content of our user stories. So you can see on the, on the left hand side, we have a breakdown of the user stories and the current uh, completion ratio and how that feeds into the model of the project, the financial model. So we're going to show you shortly the Agile Central screen. Um, this synchronization is automatic between Agile Central and PPM. So from the, the financial view and the business view, you can track your projects and your costs and your resource utilization from the, the PPM screen. And then you get the detail of the actual uh, development effort within the Agile Central tool. So let's go to Agile Central. So this is our project in Agile Central. And what we've got here is we've got our project in the top left hand corner. Uh, and this screen shows us all the user stories and their current status of development. So some have been defined, some in progress, some are completed, some have been accepted and are ready. And we're going to walk through uh, how we actually define these requirements. So we're going to take this first requirement here, user story two. So we've actually defined what this story is. So this is to actually support uh, UK national insurance numbers. And we've defined it by putting the text in to explain what it is is required. And at this level, the, the persona of the Agile Central user can actually define which release we want to target. So we're going to target Q2 for this and click Done. So at this point, uh, the business has defined what they need and when they need it. And if we scroll further down, what we see here is we've also got uh, features. So those user stories are quite low level things. Uh, the features are more high level and we've got various features here. And this is what we link back to the PPM tool because um, features contain user stories. Now let's go and look at how we can actually model these requirements. So we're going to go to our ARD product. Now ARD is a, a modeling tool and we can just start with an empty model. Like so. And we can then use the palette over here to manually build out uh, a workflow, which you can then use to actually refine your requirements. But we're going to import our requirements from Agile Central. So we've gone to our connector framework, which is here, and we're going to go to CA Agile Central. Uh, and this is the tree structure for Agile Central. So that's my, my workspace. That's that project we just looked at. If we go into the releases, if you remember, we assigned that user story two to our Q2 release. And that's that user story there that we just showed you. Now I can drag that into my workspace and automatically we will generate a model. So there's our model. If I resize the screen, you'll see it's a very simple model. Basically, we've just chained together the requirements. And at this point, you can then take that, that text model and start to modify it. So we can change the the order, we can change, make these decision decision blocks. We can then start 
truly modeling what the requirements are. And this is a collaborative tool. This is where you'd work with the, uh, the requirements team and the engineering teams to actually identify exactly what the requirements are and to get a model that is a representation of those requirements. Now, once you've got the model, well, let me just show you one we've done before. Here's a model of our, our website. And what we've defined is the various routes through our website. So we come in at a, the web page, we have a login option, which has various options. And if I drill into one of these boxes, what we'll see is the model is more than just the flow. It also contains things like the automation. So we know that if you click on the admin link on this landing page, these are the steps. So you're going to get a link, you're going to enter a username, you're going to enter a password. And on the right hand side, uh, we have a, a code snippet framework. And in this case, we're using Selenium and we can then dynamically build the test cases. So um, this is the, the functional, what we need to do, and this is the code snippet, and we'll see that in shortly. Now we can also do things like generate test data. So if I go to this test data screen, what we can see here is um, a generation of test data as part of our test case creation. So we can actually uh, generate data and also use our final reserve functionality to actually go and find test data and then include it into our testing scripts. So let me show you how this works. So if we go to our path explorer and I say, what's full coverage to test every possible combination? These are all the possible paths that go through our workflow. So if I want to test every combination for this flow, there's 58 possible test cases. Um, now that's obviously a short number, we could do that easily, but if these are thousands of test cases, we may want to actually optimize our coverage. So if we want to test the, edge, the edges of these functionality, we can actually run that in nine test cases. So you can see here, we've now identified the nine test cases that check, test all the edge components. Um, we can then save these test cases. So we've saved one earlier, which is just here. So this is the flow we've saved. If I click on the automation and we refresh this screen, um, this is the, the test script. So what we've done is taken the test code snippets from each of these blocks and combined them into our test case. And at this point, we now can now do two things. We can save that test case and also we can attach it back to Agile Central. So first we're gonna attach it back to Agile Central. So we do an export. We select the user story that we want the test case to be attached to, and we click OK. And what we've just done there is we've just created a test case. So test case 33 has been created with the metadata of our test case. And what we can now do is also export this test case to our testing framework. So you see we've got lots of options here. We're going to export this to the CA application test framework. So we choose application test. We choose what's called a skeleton file. And then we choose the, the code snippet we need to use. So we're going to use C application test. And then the location to store these. So we're going to put it on this drive here for now. And we do next. So we've just saved that test case to our testing framework. So we've now attached it to our user story in Agile Central. And we've actually got a test case in our framework. And we'll come back to this in a little while. Now, when you've got the model, the, the benefit of these models is once you've generated them, as you can see here, if I were to modify this model, so in this case, say I were to remove this link here. What we can do is see what was the impact of that change. If I go back to our Path Explorer for this particular model, and we click on the test case view, you can see automatically we've detected a change, and we've detected what test cases are affected by this change. So you can see here, we're actually saying that these three test cases have been affected by the change of the model. And then you have the option, you can delete those test cases or you can repair them. So we can choose to repair all these test cases. We've now corrected those test cases. We can now push them back out to our framework and we've now got valid test cases again. Now, as well as the exporting of the selenium that we just did we can also export in different languages so we have a few examples here so in this example we can actually export in what's called taurus taurus is our performance testing language and if i do an export from this like we just did before with the other ones it all works very similarly i can do an export 
we export to automation. We just choose the location for these export scripts. And we take click, we're going to put one together and we do export. And we'll come back to this in just a little while um, and you'll see how these run. So there's our export scripts created. Now we can also do things like uh, unit testing. So if I go to my unit test, uh, in this case, what we're going to export is our unit test scripts. So if I go into here and we look at the automation button and we generate this, you see what we've done generated here is we've taken this flow and we've created our Cucumber unit test script. So we've got all this data available um, for these different testing types. We can create our unit scripts, our performance scripts, and our, our generic UI scripts. And also we can do things like generate um, virtual services. So if I open up my uh, virtual service one here. So in this example, what we can do is we can use our data generation and the, the modeling to actually generate our repairs that can be used to then create a virtual service. So here's our model of our requirements. And if I click on the automation as we did before, what we've got here is we've got various paths and the paths vary with data. So based on the path we go through, there's different data required. And we can export this, in our case here, out to our CA service virtualization. So what we do is we type in the, the location of our SV server. And the credentials. And we log in. And then you choose the uh, within the the code snippet library. You kind of match the the code snippet to the request and the response. You then choose the service name. So this is a, an example of an FDA API, and we'll give it the 9th of November as a, as a name. And also you can then choose what ports are used. So when we deploy this, we can then start it on a certain port. So we'll leave it on the default 10.9.9.9. We create a service and we just create that service. So that model has now automatically generated that, um, that virtual service. And we'll see that in the following video. So at this point, we've actually got our models. We have uh, refined our requirements. And if we go back to our Agile Central server, and I just refresh this screen, what we'll see is that user story two that we started with just here now has that test case assigned. So that's the test case we just created, as you can see here. So from the, the Agile Central viewpoint, we can now see that a test case has been created and we can see that that test case hasn't run because it's this gray color and we have no results. And what we'll show you shortly is these test cases actually running. So at this point, what we've done is we've gone through and we've generated the actual project in our PPM tool. Um, gone into Agile Central to generate those features and requirements and then model those out into our test cases. And in the following video, we'll go into how this data is used by our developers and the video after that, how we then use that in our release pipeline. And over the course of these three videos, what we're going to show you is uh, all the tool set working together. So Agile Requirement Designer, Service Virtualization, Test Data Management, C application test, CA blaze meter, Vero code, and our Atomic and CDD products. Thank you for your time. Please dial back in and listen to my second video. Thank you.